This is the three jet wall gun by Toolcrete. Made in the USA, this is a pneumatic hand tool which connects to an air compressor and can be used to spray high viscosity cementitious mixes including stucco, plaster, concrete, and even fibered and aggregate filled mixes like GFRC or mixes with small pebbles, colored glass, and more. Simply connect the air valve to the optional green air tube and then to the hopper. Use an appropriate fitting to connect the 3 8 inch or half inch inside diameter air hose to the CP5 automotive fitting on the sprayer's air valve to begin spraying. We recommend a compressor that is either gas or 220 volt electric with a minimum specification of 5 horsepower, 7 CFM at 90 PSI. This will give strong, continuous airflow for greatest spraying power. The three jet wall gun may be adjusted to work with just the single center jet when using a smaller compressor. This will direct all of the air power into the one center jet. Simply use the blank brass jets and black rubber stoppers that are included to make the necessary adjustments. Using a mortar sprayer over hand troweling can reduce application time by more than half and cut labor needs by even more. Simply spray the material onto your substrate and follow up by troweling it smooth and even. Some project examples include traditional three coat stucco, thick carving mixes for decorative projects, earth based mixes, GFRC mixes for sculptures, concrete, countertops, and formwork, ferro-cement, papercrete, and more. This sprayer is ideal for small to medium-sized projects where spray applications will be onto walls or in a slightly downward position. For medium to large projects, or if you'll be spraying onto ceilings, Take a look at our other sprayers available at mortarsprayer.com or call to discuss your project. The parge coat material is an important element of construction that is unique to the Nadura installation procedure. The purpose of the parge coat is to provide a smooth finish to the exposed wall between the final grade of the building and its above grade finish material. In addition, the parge coat also provides continuous drainage protection to the top of the Nadura damp proofing waterproofing membrane finished edge, ensuring that water cannot penetrate behind the membrane. The surface of the EPS foam first has to be prepared to receive the parge coating. Start by rasping the Nadura EPS foam to improve the coating adhesion and to remove waves, bumps, and UV degradation. Prepare the parging mix coating according to the directions on the bag. Apply a base coat of parging mix overlapping the membrane by 1 inch or 25 millimeters. Extend the parge coat to either the underside of the brick or stone veneer finish or lap at least one inch or 25 millimeters underneath any non-brick finish. Next, trowel a layer of fiber mesh into the base coat. 
Nudura recommends putting a double mat of fiber mesh on inside corners, outside corners, and corners of openings. These areas are susceptible to increased damage from exposure to everyday events. Overlap the fiber mesh joints a minimum of 2 inches or 50 millimeters. Apply an additional coat of parge if necessary to ensure the mesh pattern is not visible. Apply the finished coat of purging 24 hours after the base coat has been applied. Architectural designs can now be created on the finished coat to suit the requirements of the structure.